Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and I wanted to talk about something that you might have uh, seen that I posted um, on the shortwave channel quite a few videos. I'll be posting more on the VHF UHF also. Um, I, thanks to uh, Simon Templar, one of my viewers and fans of the live shows and the channel, uh, he um, actually um, gave me an advanced Christmas gift in the uh, SDR Play RSP1A software defined receiver. And I wanted to give my first impressions of what I think um, ab about it above 30 megahertz. Now, to be fair, the only two other SDRs I've used that have above 30 megahertz reception is a cheap, um, you know, $10 RTL dongle and a $40 um, Soft 66 RTL dongle with up converter for shortwave, which typically comes to a RTL dongle, anyways. And uh, now this is a little more expensive. Um, in in dollars, it'd be in the range of um, about 130 to 150, depending um, where you buy it. It's around 150 Canadian, and it is really a major step forward. So in the VHF UHF range performs amazingly well. Now I haven't hooked it up yet to my um, vertical antenna because of one little problem. It's an SMA connector for the antenna and I don't have that capability with the um, with my vertical antenna because it's an F um, connector for my ICOM on it. So I will be uh, fixing that and having a way to hook it up via an SMA connector because I want to test out my vertical antenna, see how it performs and kind of compare it a little bit to my ICOM, see how well it goes. But right now, it's because there's one antenna connector, it, it does work on VHF, UHF. It's just that it's using my sloper antenna, which is maybe good for 30 to 50 megahertz range, but not as good when you go above, you know, in, in the VHF 2 meter band or UHF bands. Uh, this thing goes up to 2 gigahertz, so it's a wideband receiver. And uh, But my first impressions on VHF, UHF are very good. It seems to be sensitive. It seems to do what it does really, really well. One little word of caution about the FM band, because it's really nice. You can listen to your FM broadcasts. You even have the RDS data coming on it. Uh, with, I'm using SDR Uno, and it's really, really an amazing piece of software to use it. And it's actually become my favorite software to find receiver software. So SDR Uno is absolutely amazing. Um, on the FM band, it tends to overload. Once again, you guys know that here I have very, very strong FM stations. So it's a little difficult to tune around and have it working well because of the overloading. But you know, I've, uh, by tweaking, you, you get you get to a point where you're you're able to to listen to and uh, see what you can hear on the bands. So, of course, as I will plug this on the vertical antenna instead of the sloper, I'll have a clearer idea of the performance. But as of yet, my performance um, of VHF UHF seems to be very good. And actually, um, comparing it to my Soft 66. One, things, one thing that's, of course, immediately visible is that this is much better than just an RTL dongle type setup. You see that there's a much better filtering, much better performance on the VHF, UHF bands. So um, it's, it's an amazing device. And if you're looking for an all uh, band device, you know, uh, that goes from one kilohertz to two gigahertz, easy to set up um, and not too expensive, uh, you're you're getting something amazing with this uh, RSP1A device, I can tell you that. So of course I'll be uh, doing a little more videos on the VHF, UHF stuff that I will do with it. Um, when I could hook it up to my vertical, I hope, hopefully soon I will actually go to the electronics store right uh, not far from here, see if I can get an SMA um, connector and everything I need to uh, set it up on the vertical. One of the things that will be interesting to see is tracking satellites, how well it will do it compared to my ICOM, for example. And um, but for you know, for my first impressions are really good, so I I, I think this thing is going to be very very nice, uh, even on the VHF UHF ranges. Of course, more video coming up, and I'll be um, having a full review of this posted also in uh, 
uh, probably about a week. You know, I need to test it out well. I need to play around, listen to more signals, and, and have it working properly. So that's going to be a lot of fun. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.